Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to limit the total number amount or value that someone can enter into a range of cells in Excel. Now if you'd like to get the workbook that you see here go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So what I've got here is a sample monthly personal budget and a small list of items right here groceries, travel, movies, going out with the amount that you'd like to allot for each one of those items right here. The list is small, it doesn't really matter what it is. The point is just to illustrate that I'd like to limit how much or the total amount that can be entered over here. I want to make sure that we don't go over so much so that we stay in budget. Now this example can be used for a number of different um, things for limiting the amount of numbers that can be entered into cells, but this example is often used. We're going to be using data validation in this tutorial, so let me go ahead and enter the shortcut. It is Alt-D-L. It's going to work in all versions of Excel to get you to the data validation window. If you're in Excel 2007, you can simply go to the data tab data tools, that box, and data validation. Now we're going to be entering a formula in data validation here. And since when you enter a formula into the data validation window, it doesn't provide any error checking and it doesn't tell you if what you've entered is spelled incorrectly, I like to enter all of my data validation formulas and functions in an Excel cell first. Make sure I've entered it correctly, then put it in data validation. So what we want to do is to make sure that these four cells don't go over a set amount, let's say $1,000 a month, whatever, just a random number. So the formula that we're going to be using is equals sum open parentheses. I'm going to select all of these cells right here and then hit F4 so that this range reference B4 to B7 doesn't change. That's what the dollar signs in front of it mean. It means that it's not going to change if we move anything around. Now close the parentheses. So now we're going to sum up these four cells and we're going to get a number. But for data validation we need to get a logical value return, so true, false. So what we're next going to do is less than or equals to 1000. So that's going to say, sum, or that's going to sum up the numbers in these four cells, or in these four cells, and see if it's less than or equal to 1000. Well if it's less than or equal to 1000, yeah, true, if this number is. If it's greater than a thousand, it's going to be false. So that is the formula that we need. And I know that we've entered it correctly. If you wanted to, you could test it out by entering numbers over here. So what we're going to do is simply cut this, control X, then hit escape to get out of that cell. Next, what you want to do is to select the allotment cells, all four of these cells right here, then go to the data validation window. I'm going to hit Alt-D-L to get there. Under where it says Allow, click the drop-down menu, go to Custom, right here underneath Formula. Simply paste the formula that we just created. Then click OK. So let's go ahead and try it out. And it's formatted with dollar signs here because I formatted it like that on the home tab beforehand. Okay, so let's see if we do, let's go with 50, no problem. 100, no problem. How about 150? Oh no, we can't spend that much going out. <laughs> so we got an error message, right? Because um, 300, 300, 300, 150 is over a thousand dollars. So cancel that and now the most that we can enter is a hundred dollars. So if we have nothing in there and we try to do 150 again it'll simply erase the number. So this is how you can prevent so much from being entered into a set or range of cells in Excel using data validation. So it's a pretty neat way you can use data validation and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you'd like to get the workbook you see here, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.